Hey YouTube, it's Mr. One Two from Challenge Accepted, and today we are trying a new recipe. So we got we got the five ingredients book from Jamie Oliver that we're testing out. So it's be quick and easy foods. Today is roasted tiki chicken. And it's supposed to serve four people. Prep work is only supposed to take 10 minutes and about an hour to cook. So it asks for potatoes, cauliflower, cilantro, a whole chicken, and tiki curry paste, which I don't have, so I just got regular curry paste, or regular curry. So we're going to try that. Uh, first step, just turn your oven on and preset it to 350 Fahrenheit. Wash the potatoes and chop them into one inch and three quarter pieces. So I already peeled my potatoes. So I'll cut them one inch and three quarter, eh? Basically having these. So basically I'm cutting my potatoes into eights. Some of them are bigger than an inch and three quarters, so whatever. But basically I'm cutting my potatoes into eighths. Okay, so that's my potatoes. Potatoes are done. Uh, trim the celery stalk. Remove any rough outer leaves and then chop the cilantro. And nice leaves in the same size as this spud. Alright, so. Basically open up my cilantro stuff and I believe I'm supposed to remove all the stems and just keep the leaves, right? Trim the cilantro stock, remove the rough outer leaves and then chop the cilantro in nice leaves the same size as the spuds. Alright. So, remove all the, I guess I was just pull these off. Never cooked with cilantro before, but I guess we'll find out if it even tastes any good. It says lamps. Okay. Yeah, we got that much cilantro. Yeah, let's do one more. One more, eh? There we go. All right. That has been de stock. Okay. Then chop the cilantro in nice leaves, the same size as the spuds. Well, wow. sure. I don't think I need to chop it. It's alright, the same size as the spuds. Alright. And it says finally slice the cilantro stalks 
reversing the leaves in the bowl in cold water. Now, I didn't keep them, so. In a 16 by 12 inch pan, sure. Uh, roasting pan, toss in the vegetables and slosh stocks with a pinch of salt and black pepper. And a tablespoon of olive oil and red wine vinegar. Well, I don't think I have red wine vinegar, but I have olive oil. So, put the potatoes in. So, I think what the, we're trying to get to is chop the cauliflower into the small, same size as the stuff, potatoes. Alright. Yeah. Well, let's grab the cauliflower. So now cut your cauliflower into about inch and three quarters pieces and then throw it into your pot. So we got most of our cauliflower in here now. <clears throat> now it says doo -doo -doo. toss the vegetables and the cilantro stalks with a pinch of salt and some black pepper. So here's black pepper. Maybe turn it the right side up. <laughs> and grab some salt. Tablespoon of olive oil. Next uh, olive oil.
Or a tablespoon. Mm -hmm. I don't want two tablespoons of olive oil because I don't have red wine. Alright. Now, sit the chicken. Here's my chicken. Full chicken. Make the chicken. Come in. I can just edit you out. There you go. Mm -hmm. So, grab my chicken and sit it down. I thought the neck was already removed. It doesn't look like the neck's removed. Okay. So the neck was already removed. That's not. That's not removed. Yeah, giblets and neck removed. They contain kidneys. That looks like the neck. Yeah, but that's just part of the neck. I think they took the whole neck out. They just chopped it. Mm -hmm. Did you check the other end? Just in case the bags in there for the kibbles and the gizzard. No, there's nothing in there. Okay. Alright, rub all over with tzatziki paste. Well, I don't have tzatziki paste. What do you rub all over with? It's that paste, that, that curry paste. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to rub it with oil first. So I'm going to put a bit of oil in here. chicken with some uh, olive oil so that way it stays on so some olive oil all over it and then Grab my curry powder. And give this a rub. Now I got that done. Hey, get into all the nooks and crannies, place the chicken directly on the bars of the oven. Put the chicken in the pan, rub it all over with the paste. Get it into the all the nooks and crannies, place the chicken directly on the bars over the oven. Everything in the pan with extra exactly underneath the chicken to catch the mm, juice. Hey, so basically, after you rubbed your chicken with all the spices, you're gonna take it. Throw it in the oven for about a half an hour. Rotate all your vegetables and then cook it for another half an hour. And make sure that your chicken is cooked through out thoroughly. And if it is, then you can enjoy your meal. So let's open it up because this is ready. timer set for half an hour then we'll rotate all our vegetables in that and make sure that everything is cooking properly stay tuned okay yeah. 
Okay, so it's been an hour and ten minutes. Well, too bad. I think there's potatoes. Your potatoes are done? Mm. Yeah. No, not really. Or a little bit. I like them crunchy. Just check the meat. We cooked it for one hour and 25 minutes. Could probably go for an hour 30, maybe an hour 35. Put, put your chicken in an, at least an hour at a time and then your vegetables. So my mom said put the chicken first huh? and then the vegetables. Yeah. Well, at least the skin yeah. came out nice and crispy. Yeah. 